Thanks, Sundar. Large language models have captured the world's imagination, changing how we think about the future of computing. We launched BARD as a limited access experiment on a lightweight large language model to get feedback and iterate. And since then, the team has been working hard to make rapid improvements and launch them quickly. With Palm 2, BARD's math, logic, and reasoning skills made a huge leap forward, underpinning its ability to help developers with programming. BARD can now collaborate on tasks like code generation, debugging, and explaining code snippets. BARD has already learned more than 20 programming languages, including C++, Go, JavaScript, Python, Kotlin, and even Google Sheets functions. And we're thrilled to see that coding has quickly become one of the most popular things that people are doing with BARD. So let's take a look at an example. I've recently been learning chess, and for fun, I thought I'd see if I can program a move in Python. How would I use Python to generate the scholar's mate move in chess? OK, here Bard created a script to recreate this chess move in Python. And notice how it also formatted the code nicely, making it easy to read. We've also heard great feedback from developers about how Bard provides code citations. And starting next week, you'll notice something right here. We're making code citations even more precise. If Bard brings in a block of code, just click this annotation, and Bard will underline the block and link to the source. Now, Bard can also help me understand the code. Could you tell me what chess.board does in this code? Now, this is a super helpful explanation of what it's doing and makes things more clear. All right, let's see if we can make this code a little better. How would I improve this code? OK, let's see. There's a list comprehension, creating a function, and using a generator. Those are some great suggestions. Now, could you join them into one single Python code block? OK, now Bard is rebuilding the code with these improvements. OK, great. How easy was that? And in a couple clicks, I can move this directly into Colab. Developers love the ability to bring code from Bard into their workflow, like to Colab. So coming soon, we're adding the ability to export and run code with our partner, Replit, starting with Python. <laughs> We've also heard that you want dark theme. So starting today, you can activate it. <laughs> You can activate it right in BARD or let it follow your OS settings. And speaking of exporting things, people often ask BARD for a head start drafting emails and documents. So today, we are launching two more export actions, making it easy to move BARD's responses right into Gmail and Docs. So we're excited by how quickly BARD and the underlying models are improving, but we're not stopping there. We want to bring more capabilities to BARD to fuel your curiosity and imagination. And so I'm excited to announce that tools are coming to BARD. <laughs> As you collaborate with BARD, you'll be able to tap into services from Google and extensions with partners to let you do things never before possible. And of course, we'll approach this responsibly in a secure and private way, letting you always stay in control. We're starting with some of the Google apps that people love and use every day. It's incredible what Bard can already do with text, but images are such a fundamental part of how we learn and express. So in the next few weeks, BARD will become more visual, both in its responses and your prompts. So if you ask, what are some must-see sites in New Orleans? BARD's going to use Google Search and the Knowledge Graph to find the most relevant images. OK, here we go. The French Quarter, the Garden District, 
these images are really giving me a much better sense of what I'm exploring. We'll also make it easy for you to prompt BART with images, giving you even more ways to explore and create. People love Google Lens, and in the coming months, we're bringing in the powers of Lens to BARD. So. <laughs> so if you're looking to have some fun with your fur babies, you might upload an image and ask BARD to write a funny caption about these two. A Lens detects that this is a photo of a goofy German Shepherd and a Golden Retriever, and then BARD uses that to create some funny captions. If you ask me, I think they're both good boys. Okay, now let's do another one. Imagine I'm 18 and I need to apply to college. I won't date myself with how long it's been, but it's still an overwhelming process. So I'm thinking about colleges, but I'm not sure what I wanna focus on. I'm into video games, and what kinds of programs might be interesting? Okay, this is a helpful head start. Hmm. Animation looks pretty interesting. Now I could ask, help me find colleges with animation programs in Pennsylvania. Okay, great, that's a good list of schools. Now to see where these are, I might now say, show these on a map. Here Bard's gonna use Google Maps to visualize where the schools are. This is super helpful and it's exciting to see that there's plenty of options not too far from home. Now let's start organizing things a bit. Show these options as a table. Nice, structured and organized, but there's more I want to know. Add a column showing whether they're public or private schools. Perfect, this is a great start to build on. And now let's move this to Google Sheets so my family can jump in later to help me with my search. You can see how easy it will be to get a jump start in BARD and quickly have something useful to move over to apps like Docs or Sheets to build on with others. Okay. Now that's a taste of what's possible when BARD meets some of Google's apps, but that's just the start. BARD will be able to tap into all kinds of services from across the web with extensions from incredible partners like Instacart, Indeed, Khan Academy, and many more. So here's a look at one coming in the next couple months. With Adobe Firefly, you'll be able to generate completely new images from your imagination right in BARD. Now, let's say I'm planning a birthday party for my seven-year-old who loves unicorns. I want a fun image to send out with the invitations. Make an image of a unicorn and a cake at a kid's party. Okay, now BARD is working with Firefly to bring what I imagined to life. How amazing is that? This will unlock all kinds of ways that you can take your creativity further and faster. And we are so excited for this partnership. BARD continues to rapidly improve and learn new abilities. And we want to let people around the world try it out and share their feedback. So today, we are removing the wait list and opening up BARD to over 180 countries and territories. with more coming soon. And in addition to becoming available in more places, BARD is also becoming available in more languages. Beyond English, starting today, you'll be able to talk to BARD in Japanese and Korean. <laughs> Adding languages responsibly involves deep work to get things like quality and local nuances right. And we're pleased to share that we're on track to support 40 languages soon. <laughs> it's amazing to see the rate of progress so far. 
more advanced models, so many new capabilities, and the ability for even more people to collaborate with BARD. And when we're ready to move BARD to our Gemini model, I'm really excited about more advancements to come. So that's where we're going with BARD, connecting tools from Google and amazing services across the web to help you do and create anything you can imagine through a fluid collaboration with our most capable large language models. There's so much to share in the days ahead.